Alright, so if you have a Raspberry Pi and you're not sure what to do with it, then here's a really cool hack you can do um, where you can actually get a, an iOS device like an iPhone, some speakers. Uh, I got these, these are really old 10 year old speakers. My Raspberry Pi is over there, and then I have a Wi Fi uh, Eddie Max adapter. Basically, what it allows me to do is it allows me to play my music from my iPhone uh, wirelessly to um, the Raspberry Pi. So, just to show you. Here's a song. All you do is go to AirPlay, and you don't need to jailbreak your iPhone. You don't need to do anything to uh, your iPhone. I just selected it, and then I play it and watch. There we go. Let's put the volume up. And it's playing. So it plays wirelessly, like I said, without any jailbreaking, without anything doing with your iPhone. All you need to do is be in the same. Uh, Wi-Fi as the Raspberry Pi or the same network. Um, you can also use Ethernet if you want on the Raspberry Pi. Um, but uh, there it is. Back there. Uh, that's the speaker. And uh, let me turn off the music before I get copyright problems. Okay. So, I'm just going to set up this nice little tutorial for you so you can learn how to hack your Raspberry Pi. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to your terminal And then you're gonna type in uh, s u d o sudo aptitude a p t i t u d e update and then hit enter and then it'll take a while but um, it should eventually start updating and uh, just see yeah, and that's what it looks like and uh, this cursor will stay here for a little bit just 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 bear with me all right uh, it'll finish and it'll have a uh, a bunch of uh, text on here and then you'll know it's done when you see this uh, pi at raspberry prompter here with the money sign then what you're ty typing now is sudo it's uh, aptitude upgrade so before we did update now we're doing upgrade alright it's actually going to update the software on the raspberry pi alright and this will also take some time so I will come back to you when I'm done Right. Um, when you're going through it, it'll ask you, do you want to continue? Just type in a Y and enter, and then now it will install everything. And once again, this is going to take a while, so um, come back to you when it's done. So once it's done uh, upgrading, uh, what we need to do next is we need to force it so the audio goes to the audio jack and not through the HDMI cable. Uh, that way my speakers here, or uh, whatever speakers you'll be using, will actually be connected. Remember, you have to connect the uh, speaker's uh, audio line to the Raspberry Pi. It's that black um, jack over there. So what you're going to type in now uh, to do that is you're going to type in sudo. And then um, I'm going to have all the commands in the description of the video. Um, and then it's basically going to say sudo a mixer c set num id equals 3 space and then 1. And uh, just hit enter and you're done. Mine's already like that so your uh, output might be a little different, but that's that. It should work. So once you do that, um, we need to install a couple of packages, and we're just gonna do that with one line. All right. And like I said, I'm just gonna have this in the description. You can just copy and paste it. Um, wait one second. Let me just put in the sudo in there. That way. Okay. There. All right, and it'll do that. Alright, um, the next three commands, I'm going to show you them, but I'm not actually going to install them on this computer because I've already done them on my computer and uh, I don't need to do that. So, um, first one is, um, you're just going to type in sudo uh, git clone, and then there's a URL. And then um, after this one, you're going to type, and oh, you're going to hit enter and, and run through that. Um, after you do that one, then you're going to do uh, cd share port, so change directory share port. Alright, and then after this one, you're just going to type in uh, make and hit enter. Alright, and then when you, when you do make, um, then you're going to paste this. And what this is going to do is it's going to give a name to the uh, Raspberry Pi when it shows up in your iOS device. So this is going to be uh, decimal forward slash share port dot pl space uh, hyphen a space and then this is going to be your name. So I like AirPi. It's it's um it sounds nice, and uh, you can just use AirPi if you're if you like that. 
All right, and then after this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have it where it starts up automatically uh, when you boot up your computer. Um, if you don't want that to happen, you can skip the rest and you're pretty much done. Just reboot your computer and um, it should show up on your Wi-Fi. But now I'm just gonna show you how to uh, have it show up every time you uh, turn on your Raspberry Pi. It'll just do it automatically. All right, so next you're gonna do is remember, we have to be in uh, the directory share port. So like I said, CD share port. Okay, what you're gonna do now, you're gonna type in make install and then hit enter and then once you do that you're gonna uh, you're gonna paste this code it's gonna be CP which stands for copy shareport.init.sample space um, and then you're gonna be in the directory of uh, etc init d and then shareport so what it's gonna do is it's gonna restart everything okay that's what the init d is alright All right, you're gonna change directory um, and you're gonna do cd etc and then init d alright all right, and then you're gonna do a change mod and um, I had to put sudo in before that one alright so you're gonna do sudo uh, change mod um, a plus x which allows you to uh, execute it and space and then you're gonna do share port and hit enter and then you're gonna update it and you're gonna do um, update hyphen r dot d share port defaults what you do is you're going to actually edit a file so you can type in sudo nano share port and we are still in this directory the etc init dot d okay and this is going to come up and then you're going to look a line that says um, this daemon args so you're going to edit the file and then change the daemon args variable line so it looks like this. So we can just uh, copy this. Now mine should already be changed, but uh, you will right now get to see where it's going to be in the file. So you can just you know, look over here, and you're going to scroll down. So if you look again, it says daemon args. Okay, so that's daemon. There it is. So it's this line. So it's daemon args, and then we're just gonna. I've already done it, but I'll just do it again. And uh, you're just going to paste that, and uh, it didn't change for me. Alright, and then when you change that line uh, for daemon args, uh, you're going to hit uh, Control o and then it'll say uh, file name to write, and then you hit Enter, and then you're going to hit uh, Control x and then you'll exit out of there. Alright, when you're done, uh, you're just going to turn on your speaker, and you're going to need to reboot your computer, so you can do it from here. Um, or you can type in sudo reboot, it's up to you. I'd really just do it through the GUI. Well, my Pi has uh, completed booting up. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to go uh, into your iOS device, um, and then you're going to go into your music or whatever, and this works in Pandora and, and a bunch of other things. And you're going to see this little icon right here at the bottom right. You're just going to click that, and then your the name that you selected should be there. Mine was AirPi. Alright, select that. This will turn orange, letting you know that it's uh, connected. Then you hit the play button, and it should work. Yep. And you can uh, control the volume a little bit here too. So there you go. Alright, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial on uh, hacking your Raspberry Pi so your iOS devices think it is uh, AirPlay capable. Alright, thanks. Uh, be sure to comment, uh, rate, and subscribe. Take care, guys.